So in around five minutes, we will see how we can make an 3D CAD drawings inside Blender. So we will start by making a circle. We are now in the center of the 3D view and we will make a circle and this circle will have some variations. So we will make a radius of 0.02. And after that, we will hit period key to make it larger in the view. So we will rotate around the Y 90 degrees and we will delete all the our part so we will select all the our part and delete this view then we will select all and extrude scale around so we'll make it to the, to the pivot point to be in the 3d cursor and we will scale it around 0.4 and after that we will extrude all the geometry in the x-axis by 0.01 which is one centimeter After that, we'll make a mirror in the Z axis. So we'll start it to be mirrored in Z axis. And maybe we can apply this for a moment. And after that, I will select all So we can shape it to be aligned to be here. So uh, maybe selecting this one and enable the snapping to be vertex and G on Y and also G on Y and. After that, I will select all these and scale on Y. Then maybe selecting all these and scale in the axis. And make sure that the pivot point is median or 3D bounding box. So we'll select all this and scale in the axis like this. After that, I will extrude in the axis. And let's scale all this and move in the axis like this. All right. We are now in this view. Uh, we will make a mirror modifier. So we'll select all and G in X is in X axis around 0.034 centimeter. Then I will select all these faces. And if you want to make shortcuts, so one for vertex, two for edge and three for faces. And we will make a mirror modifier again. And this mirror modifier will be in around X axis and make sure you apply the rotation. So we will enable clipping for a moment and extrude in X axis. Extrude in X axis like this. If you see this, you can go to N and view and make sure that the clip start to be this view and after that you can apply the modifier and go to edit mode and we can go here and add some loop cuts let's see if we have faces here so we have some faces here and we will we will delete all these faces All right.
after that uh, we will select on vertex and in the bottom we'll select the same vertex and the same vertex here and select like this and again we can go for loop tools and make circle after that we will go here and scale shift z and we will extrude scale shift z or inset another time we will make an inset and this time we will bridge edge loop and if you seen this vertex you can select all these vertex and delete again select all these vertex and delete so we are now close to finish our design so we will extrude in the axis and now we are done for this design and if you have the time you can go for modifiers and add subdivision surface make sure it's smooth and again add loop cuts to define the edges and we are here let's uh, so we have something wrong we will delete this face and again in the is in the this view also we have to delete this face all right let's define the edges we will go here 